What's up, Connor? Hi. Today's Wednesday, January 24th. I'm Thomas. And I'm Kyle. In today's show, we'll be talking about men's basketball and the upcoming musical. So stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. Basketball season is in full swing. So here we have some of our skilled players to talk about their experience. Hello, my name is Kyle, and today I'm here with... Nigel. It's nice to meet you, Nigel. You mind if I ask you a few questions? I don't mind at all. All right. What do you enjoy about basketball? Just the relationships and the bonds to my teammates, having fun, um, getting out there, the competitive spirit. That's what I really enjoy about basketball. And would you recommend joining basketball? Um... I would, but like like everyone, basketball may not be their sport, so if you're like a tough competitive person that wants to battle every single day, then I would recommend it to you. But if you're not the type of person that wants to like battle or you just want the easy way with stuff like that, then I wouldn't recommend it for you. I'm Kyle, and I'm here with... Chance. It's nice to meet you, Chance. I'm going to be asking you a few questions. What do you enjoy most about basketball? Uh, I enjoy the competition. That's really it, to be honest. Right. And what's your greatest achievement in basketball? The greatest achievement, uh, I would say winning district in 2021 year. Yeah. And what is your favorite memory about basketball? Going to Pasadena in our McDonald's tournaments we had last year. I had fun there. Hello, I'm Kyle, and here and here I have uh, J.P. Grubbs. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Uh, yes, sir. All, All right. Good. What got you into basketball? Um, I guess growing up, my favorite player was Kobe Bryant. So um, his mindset in the game kind of led me to the sport, and the which I keep playing and love to do. So yeah. All right. What do you enjoy about basketball? Um, what I enjoy about basketball. Um, I would say what I enjoy about it is just like the competition really like just playing against each other and competing every day is uh, truly like fun and I'm very passionate about it so yeah. Well thank you for your time. Good afternoon I'm Kyle and I'm here with Kevin Roberts. It's nice to meet you. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, no problem go ahead. All right. Would you recommend joining basketball? Yeah I would recommend joining basketball somebody like you know young I recommend joining it. Right. And what's your greatest achievement in basketball? My greatest achievement was um, going to playoffs. For every year I've been on varsity, we went to playoffs. And what's your favorite memory from basketball? Um, my first in-game dunk last year against Willis. And thank you, and we'll be heading back to the studio. Make sure to support our players at the next game. Well, basketball isn't your thing, maybe musicals are. If you like musicals, you may want to take a look at this. Hi, I'm Amy, and this is Hannah. And so I'm going to ask you a couple questions about the musical. So what's the name of the musical, and when is it? It's called Once Upon a Mattress, and we will be performing it January 26th and 27th. Okay, cool. So can you give a quick summary of what the musical is about? Um, it's basically the story of the princess and the pea, um, just told in a different version. Okay, and what is your role in the musical? Um, at the beginning, I'm princess number 12, and then for the rest of the show, I am part of ensemble. Okay, thank you. Now we're moving on to the next interview. Hi, I'm Amy, and I'm here with... Jacob. So what's your role in the musical? Uh, my role is Prince Dauntless. Okay, cool. So what has been your favorite moment working in this play? Uh, my favorite moment has probably been all the singing, all the songs are really catchy and really good. That I really enjoy them. Okay, nice. And do you plan on doing theater in the future? Uh, yeah, I'm planning to do it all my four years and do all the future musicals and all future performances. Okay, nice. Thank you. Now we're moving on to the next interview. Hi, I'm Amy, and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Kendall, also known as KJ. 
So what's your role in the musical? So my role in the musical is Lady Lady Verona. Um, she's a princess in waiting to be married because she can't get married unless Prince Dauntless gets married. Okay, nice. So what has been your favorite moment working in this play? I think just being around with my friends and everything is really, really fun. But also Saturday rehearsals when we learned quiet was one of our most um, interesting and most fun dances that we've done so far to me. Okay. So do you plan on doing theater in the future? I do. I plan on doing theater when I'm in college because I've done theater for four years here in high school and two years in middle school. So I feel like it's kind of just stuck with me now. So I should just carry it on in college. Okay, thank you so much. Back to the studio. Make sure to catch their performance. We will now take you to a quick commercial break. What are y'all still roaming the hallways for? What are your names? Oh, I'm sorry. I got lost. I wasn't born yesterday. Do you have your IDs on you? We, we don't have them. Well, then I'm taking you to my office to figure it out myself so y'all can reflect on your actions and face the consequences. Now let's join our novice meteorologist, Gio, with the weather. Thank you for your kind words, Thomas. And hello, Connor High. I'm Gio here with your weather today. Today, we'll have thunderstorms with a high of 64 and a low of 52. Tomorrow's looking a little cloudy with a high of 65 and a low of 49. And Friday, put a rain jacket on because there are expect expected thunderstorms with a high of 69 and a low of 49. And on Saturday, the rain will break and it will be partly, partly cloudy with a high of 64 and a low of 43. And now for our fun fact of the day. The square dance is the official state dance of 24 states. Segments for today. All right. <laughs> we are here with Joe Harrison Cole the second, who nominated Mr. Rick Walt for Teacher of the Week. So, Mr. Joe Harrison Cole the second. Yes. <laughs> can I ask you a couple of questions? Uh, um, I'm, I'm pleased to be here. Yes, you can. All right. So, uh, why did you nominate Mr. Rick Walt for Teacher of the Week? Why well, nominate Mr. Rick Walt? Uh, because he is the only teacher that keeps the class interesting and fun. Um, he's very genuine. He um, cares about what he's teaching, as well as he um, he puts himself forward in in a good way. He doesn't. It's not like he's doing it because it's a job. He does it because he's he actually enjoys teaching. What has he done to help you be successful? What has he done? Well, um, what he has done is when uh, I almost fall asleep or anyone almost falls asleep in class, he, he kicks them, he makes sure they're, they're awake. He's very lenient on things uh, such as uh, turning in homework and stuff like that because he, he genuinely wants people to pass his class and, and get into astronomy. Oh yeah, that's really, really true. And um, so, how long have you been in that class? I've been in that class, in this class, um, all year uh, since August. And it's, it's, it's been great. It's been going by quick. It's, it's very fun. Um, so what does he do to make the class fun? What does he do? Well, he has many labs that he does to, to really get you interested in astronomy, uh, such as going outside, uh, shooting rockets, as well as like looking at the sun through telescopes. It's, it's super fun, super interesting. Final question. Is there something you would like to tell him? Uh, I would like to tell Mr. Virgwald, thank you so much for um, making this class so much fun. It's the only class I really look forward to besides uh, audio and visual. All right, now let's take it to Mr. Rickwalt. We wanted to start today by saying congratulations, Mr. Rickwalt, for winning Teacher of the Week. So how does it feel? Yeah, it feels pretty good. I, I'm very excited to, uh, to have gotten that and uh, surprised. So I'm, I'm flattered very much. Well, you deserve it, Mr. Rickwalt. And so I want to ask you a couple of questions. So um, what makes you stand out from other teachers? Well, I was a student here and graduated from here in 1992, and um, I took a lot of what I learned from the teachers that I had, what, what I thought were good teaching methods and what would make me want to come to school, and have carried that forward and applied it here at Conroe High. Where did you go to school for, like, for college? 
So I went to Texas A&M at Galveston and got a Bachelor of Science degree in marine transportation. And in that major, there was a lot of science, uh, geology, oceanography, meteorology, a little bit of astronomy and uh, navigation. That was all stuff that interested me. And um, what made you want to teach? So I'd never really given uh, teaching uh, any serious consideration until I was in the Navy. And while I was in the Navy, it was a lot of the sailors that I had who really thought that I explained things well, especially when it came to navigation and the stars and the, the mythology that went into those. And they said, you should, you should really consider teaching. And so uh, I took their recommendations and went with it. And this has been uh, 17 years now that I've been teaching here. So I'm glad that I've been here. Wow. And um, so what would you like to tell your students um, that are watching right now? Uh, that I'm proud of you, and I know how hard you all are working. Uh, senior year is not an easy year. Uh, it's a year filled with a lot of uncertainty and a lot of challenges, but uh, what you have to really remember is to stay focused, work hard, finish strong, and you're going to be out of here before you know it. The last semester goes faster than I can possibly describe to you. Make sure you all are listening. All right, well, I want to say again, congratulations, Mr. Rickwell. You deserve it. All right, now let's take it back to the studio. We'll be taking one more quick break. Good morning, students. Uh, it's advisory. Just uh, use your time wisely. Hey, did you do the assignment for physics? No. What are you trying to do? I got some of the answers right here. No, I'm fine. All right, class, you need to take your homework out because I'm going to check it for um, a completion grade. Mm, and also, it's going to be a quiz grade. You got it? I don't got it. We told you. Your assignment? I didn't have time to do it. Wow. You had advisory last class period, and you definitely had enough time to finish it. <laughs> she got it. What's up, Connor Hyde? Today I am here with Rosie the Bearded Dragon. Hello, we have a few questions for you. Would you mind? So first of all, would you mind introducing yourself? Hi, I'm Rosie, and I'm a bearded dragon. Would you mind telling me a bit about yourself and some others of your species? Well, a spirited dragon's spider often chilled demeanor can run up to 9 miles per hour, our average lifespan is anywhere from 8 to 15 years, and we live a mostly solitary life. So do you mind telling me about where you're from? We originate in Central Australia. So what's your favorite thing to eat? I love to eat superworms and cilantro, but those of my species also enjoy eating kale and even sweet potatoes every once in a while. So what's a typical day in your life like? Typically I just chill in my enclosure. Sometimes I even talk to my neighbor. Finally, what are your thoughts on human development taking over your habitats? Now listen, I understand that you guys eat houses and like stores or whatever, but that doesn't mean that you can come and destroy our habitat and take it for yourself. Other animals live here too, you know. Alright, thank you very much for your time, Rosie. So this was Rosie, the bearded dragon. Thank you for tuning in to Creature of the Month. Let's take you back to the studio. Make sure to tune in to all of our upcoming shows. We will have a game time tomorrow. On Friday, we'll have KTIG 9. Monday, we will have Polo Talk. Tuesday, we'll be off, off the air. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we'll have Total Recaps. Also, CHS, remember to walk and talk and stay to the right. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Total Recap. Make sure to keep up with us on our screen at KTIG News and on our website at KTIGNews.com. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to get notifications so you don't miss any of KTIG's shows. Remember CHS, all, all tigers, tigers achieve. achieve.